Formula One is set to introduce sprint race qualifying at three events this year, but will it be a boost for the sport? You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our new home on unbeaten.com. Twenty twenty one is an interim season for F one, the last of the current regulations before the sport's thrilling new era, with its futuristic racier cars, comes to life. But there's still big change coming this year in qualifying, with one hundred kilometer sprint races planned for three events, potentially including Silverstone. There, the race weekend format will change, with qualifying pushed back to Friday in order to set the grid for Saturday's sprint race. The result from that would then create the grid for Sunday's Grand Prix. And the experiment is highly controversial, given it's a quantum leap from F1's DNA and what qualifying has always been about. The fastest single lap of the weekend, driver and machine at the absolute limit. But while the concept has enjoyed broad support, others are not so sure. With four-time F1 world champion Sebastian Vettel stating that it doesn't make sense. A point backed by Alfa Romeo reserve Robert Kubica, who has raced in the sport's V8 and hybrid eras. I think, uh, you know, in the end it will not make massive difference. Uh... I don't think a format uh, is a key point of uh, making Formula 1 more spectacular. Um, for sure there are pros and cons, but uh, yeah, I don't have, to be honest, a, a clear clear view. Uh, I still like uh, what we had in the past. Uh, it's a common you know, DNA of Formula 1 that uh, Saturday we have qualifying. F1's last experiment was 2016's elimination qualifying format, which was also introduced at the last minute in an aid to spice up the races, but was scrapped after just two events, with no drivers on track in the final minutes of Q3 and no real fight for pole position. Team bosses, however, say it's crucial for F1 to have three days of action, either for the fans at home or trackside. At the end of the day, you know, we, we need to put a good show, and I think that's going to help putting a good show for the fans. So you know, let's try new formats, and you know, it's a great opportunity to see if, uh, if that's something we want to carry over in the, in the next seasons. But with supporting regulations yet to be created, talks are ongoing as to what component changes are allowed post-sprint, with current plans seeing points allocated for the top three finishers ensuring a frantic few months locking down details before the experiment commences, the first sprint qualifying races in Formula One. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.